Welcome folks. I want to give an introduction to cosets. Cosets are the main tool that we'll use to prove Lagrange's theorem. You'll remember that Lagrange's theorem said that if you have a finite group G, then any of its subgroups H have a size which divides evenly into the size of G. So let's divide cos define cosets. Let G be a group and H a subgroup of G. So for little g an element, um, we're going to define the left coset little g times the subgroup H to be the set of all elements of the form little g times little h, where little h is in my subgroup. Okay. The right coset would be hg, and it would have little g and little h here in the opposite order. But we'll save that for later. So let me give one example and then we'll call it a day. Let my group be Z mod 12Z and let um, H be this cyclic subgroup generated by three, which contains three, six, nine, and 12, but 12 is zero. Okay. So in additive notation, GH is going to be written as not G times H, but G plus H. And this is an additive group. So I'm going to have cosets that look like zero plus H or one plus H or two plus H. So, so that is this, except I'm using additive notation. So instead of G times the subgroup H, it's G plus the subgroup H. So to get zero plus H, I just combine zero additively with each element in the subgroup. So zero plus three is three, zero plus six is six, zero plus nine is nine, and zero plus zero is zero. To get one plus H, I add one on the left to each element in H. So one plus three is four, one plus six is seven, 1 plus 9 is 10, and 1 plus 0 is 1. And finally, I add 2 to each of these elements to get 2 plus h. So I get 3 plus 2 is 5, 6 plus 2 is 8, 9 plus 2 is 11, and 0 plus 2 is 2. And you can check that the coset 0 plus h is the same as the coset 3 plus h, because adding 3 to each of these elements still gives me the same list of elements reordered, but sets don't care about order. And this is also 6 plus h. 1 plus h is also the coset 4 plus h, which is also the coset um, 7 plus h. And 2 plus h is also the coset 5 plus h, which is also the coset um, plus h. And I don't know why, why I left out 9 plus h and 10 plus h and 11 plus H, but those cosets are also equal. So one pattern that you'll notice is that two cosets can be equal, even if the G out front is not, um, it's not the same. And another pattern that you'll notice is that if you look at your different cosets, so here I have three different cosets, Together, your cosets contain every element of G, your big group, once and exactly once. So my group consists of 12 elements, and those 12 elements are drawn here, and each element appears in one and exactly one of the different cosets that I have. And the point of these cosets is we'll use them to prove Lagrange's theorem, and then after that, we'll use them to define quotient groups. Public questions?
Thanks so much.